A kind day to you all, I'm Kinsmark, and I just feel like chatting today, so let's have a little conversation in the comments about a common topic on YouTube right now, that of false positivity. I know a lot of larger channels have already talked about this, I just figured I'd chip in my own input and actually offer a counterpoint to a certain extent to some of their arguments. I'll cut this over some gameplay as I talk so you guys can either have something to look at or just listen from another tab. Anyway, catching up anyone that hasn't heard anything about this is essentially a discussion topic that started among some larger YouTubers concerning the pressure to always seem excited and happy and positive in their content, to just laugh off crappy games, to try and force the funny factor for otherwise dull experiences, and to just always come off as positive for their channel audience. I know a lot of folks have voiced frustration at feeling like they have to come off as false, or else face criticism from the comments, because there's always someone, usually a lot of someones, that likes something you might criticize and come angrily to its defense. A cult following for a game, or a film, or a show, or some other product that you might dare to say you just don't enjoy yourself. Because opinions aren't allowed on the internet, after all, and a lot of folks don't seem to care to learn the difference from an objective statement to a subjective one, and that I don't like this is a different statement entirely from this is not good. Or commenters might make mountains of molehills, as they so often do, about any change in demeanor whatsoever from one day to another, because it's instantly, I miss the old whoever. And people need to knock that shit off, because people change and your nostalgia glasses aren't helping. All that said, I have mixed feelings about the prevailing sentiments surrounding this topic, because I feel it's a little more nuanced in nature than a lot of people are admitting to themselves. On the one hand, honesty and integrity is of chief importance to me. I don't like fake content, and especially if someone's channel is at all journalistic in nature, even if it's just raw, unfiltered, product advisory sort of stuff, I don't want them faking enjoyment just for the sake of seeming positive, because their mood can and will affect how a product is represented, and therefore skew the entire advisory aspect of that content, and that is a disservice to their audience of consumers. Daily vloggers, too, even though they aren't offering any advisory service, they're just entertaining, still shouldn't feel compelled to always act positive, because come on, no one is always positive all day, every day. And to put that kind of image forward on one's channel is as dishonest as it is potentially unhealthy for more impressionable viewers to internalize as normal. On the other hand... I acknowledge also that one may come off more critical for the same product or about the same subject on one day than another simply due to a downturn of one's mood that day. For whatever reason, whether it's because of something stressful going on away from the camera in one's day-to-day -day life, lack of sleep, depression kicking in, whatever. In that case, I get a little more conflicted in my feelings, because consistency of standards is an important aspect of consumer advising, and really, it's people that run those kind of channels that most of my thoughts on this are about. And I know what you're saying, Ken, most channels don't have hard standards, numerical scores and review points are going away, and you're right! To a point. Because even if one's channel advisory aspect just comes down to, does this creator like this thing? their reactions are still a sort of standard of assessment, of measurement, esoteric though that is. So, in that case, I think one should try and come at each session at least in a neutral mood, as consistent one as one can, within reason. Because I recognize that we're all human, and objective standards are there for those that want to focus on them as a means of getting around surface-level emotional states. I just feel like some of the creators complaining about this aren't completely honest with themselves about it. A couple of questions to ask. If an episode seems to start turning negative and you're the one in the seat facing the camera, are you just not feeling the game or are you not feeling recording that day? And if it's the latter, are you giving a fair chance to whatever it is you're covering? I know content's gotta come out every day for a lot of channels, so something's gotta fill that time slot. However, I have a simple solution for this, one that I use constantly, and I don't mean to come off as condescending here, I'm just speaking from my own experience and my work habits knowing that I have my fair share of down days. I haven't talked about it much on the channel in the past because it's not often relevant. I do have depressive issues. I have since I was a kid. I should probably take meds for it. I've just learned to function without them. The solution is, don't record that day. 
keep up a cache of several days worth of pre-recorded content to put up in case of the inevitable downturn of your mood if you know you're prone to that so that it doesn't affect the content your viewers see because we can all or almost all feel when our moods strayed away from the norm and we all know shit happens on certain days that you can't plan for so just take some self-awareness is all Spend those days working on other aspects of your channel, script writing, thumbnail making, marketing, networking, whatever's relevant to what you do and isn't dependent on you coming across as more happy than you actually are to other people. Now, I know this doesn't apply to every channel situation. I get that. So don't get ahead of me in the comments here. Stop typing. I know some channels whole shtick is that they do record every day or stream every day or on set days and so they can't really avoid their down days without compromising their creative integrity and I totally get that. The folks like us though who run content that could get played any day of the week we can work around that and we should and for those of us that don't want to let negativity seep into our work and that don't want the criticism from the comments when we do we should get into habits that mitigate that happening as far as what viewers see is concerned. Knowing that we're all human means preparing for it, not just acknowledging it. Now, I know there's another aspect of this that some channels have focused on because of experiences with it more than others and that I mentioned a little of earlier. Creators feeling forced to come off as though they like something even if they don't just to avoid the lynch mob in the comments and on Twitter and on Tumblr for daring not to share the taste of the rabid, unrelenting fandoms that control the Ministry of Thought these days. You know who you are, and if you don't, well, everyone else does. And to those commenters, I have one thing to say. Learn the definitions of objective criticism and subjective criticism, and learn to tell the difference when someone criticizes something you like. People are allowed to like different things and to dislike what you like, and you need to accept that yesterday. Now, at the same time, if someone makes an objective statement that you can debate without resorting to ad hominem attacks against that creator, I say have at. If they're willing to make controversial statements of their opinions as fact and can't handle contrition in the comments for it, they can always disable them. All I'm saying is, Know the difference. If you feel compelled to argue, argue the point, not the person. No one should feel like they have to like everything they show on their channel just to keep you happy. Period. And on that note, I think that's about all I have to say on the matter. I've tried to keep my points as concise as I could, and to not name names again, you all know who you are or who they are that I'm referring to. I'm just curious to see what you guys might have to say on the matter in return, because I know this is an emotional topic for a lot of folks to discuss. So, agree, disagree, quibble with a nuance here and there, let me know. In the meantime, thank you all kindly for watching. I'm Kinsmark here at Last Level Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming, and Godspeed.